I'm going to do a basic transmission fluid change on my 2008 Honda Odyssey. Uh, the transmission has a capacity of approximately 8 quarts. And uh, when you just do the, the drain, you don't drain all of it. You do, you'll drain about probably 3.3, 3.5 quarts out. It's very simple, basic, no problem. I, uh, I run synthetic oil in my uh, Honda and every time I uh, change the oil, I change three and a half quarts of the fluid. So every other change, I've changed all my fluid in my transmission. And uh, I really like the Valvoline uh, Max uh, Synthetic. It's for, uh, it meets or exceeds the Honda standards. I've been using it, never had a problem with it. A lot of people recommended it. And it's really a good product. And you can buy a gallon of it for under $20 at Walmart. So that's a big plus when uh, you're changing the oil or transmission fluid rather. So that's what I use and basically you need a 3-8 drive ratchet, a drain pan, and the funnel I made myself and I fill it through the uh, uh, transmission tube, you know, where you uh, uh, where you check the transmission fluid, I fill it through there, I made that funnel. You could, there's another way you can fill it, but it's, it does, this doesn't take but a couple of more minutes and uh, works fine, no problem. So uh, let's get started. I've already loosened the drain plug. It's just a 3.8 drive uh, socket type. Uh, and uh, I'm going to drain it into the pan here. And uh, I'm an old NHRA drag racer. And I uh, read a lot on automatic transmissions and all the big men used to build them, art car and so forth and so on. The life of a transmission is keeping the temperature down, no varnish and all. And I don't know how that works with the synthetic fluid. But I, I would imagine it's the same and uh, fresh fluid and uh, it, it's it's no reason that uh, uh, if you take care of your transmission it shouldn't you know and you keep the fluid and keep your temperature down it should run 200 300 thousand miles if you take care of it and uh, maintenance is the key for everything really so uh, I'm going to drain the uh, pan now. It's uh, the fluid is draining now and uh, it shouldn't take long to drain and uh, then I'm going to refill it through the, uh, the, through the uh, 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 tube where you check, check the fluid. I made a special funnel and all and it really takes just a few minutes. It's no problem. One other point I'd like to make is... Uh, I have some more crush washers for the uh, for the plug for the uh, drain plug, but uh, I don't change them every time. Uh, I haven't had any problems with uh, any leakage or drippage, and uh, uh, you know, like every three or four times, I've got a, a pack of the uh, crush washers and I'll change them. But I really haven't had a problem. So, you know, if you don't have one, uh, chances are you'll be okay. Uh, I haven't really had any problem at all. So uh, you can order them online. You get a pack of them very, very cheap. But uh, it's just uh, I haven't had not a, not a single problem with any leakage. So I think you'll be okay. You can see approximately in the milk jug how much uh, fluid is I've drained out. Uh, probably it's around three and a half quarts. Uh, it's uh, I've got the. Uh, funnel in the dipstick tube and I'm gonna uh, start filling the fluid and it takes a little longer but it's really really no problem takes it a minute to drain down because it's a pretty small opening in it I made this funnel and I put a piece of uh, brake line tubing that fit inside the uh, dipstick tube it works pretty good. Takes a little longer to fill it, but not really a problem. I don't have a problem at all with it.
I've cranked it up, let it warm up a bit, put the transmission in gear with the brake on just idling, and I put it in drive and I put it in reverse to, you know, uh, it may not make any difference, but I do that to make sure it's uh, circulating. And uh, I checked it and uh, with a dipstick here, you really can't see, but you, between the two, uh, the two holes in your dipstick or the two dots or the two holes in your dipstick, you're fine. And uh, you may have to add a touch more sometimes, but uh, uh, I usually uh, uh, put a little less than a gallon in and it works. You know, I leave, try to leave about half a quart in the, uh, in the bottle and uh, it works out fine. So shouldn't be any problem. But anyhow, it's, it's, you know, maybe a, after you do it a couple of times, it's really a 20 or 30 minute job. It's no big deal. And uh, just take your time and make sure everything is clean. Cleanliness is a key.